There's illegals in the house. If you see them, point them out. There's illegals on the job. If you see them, point them out. There's illegals in the store. If you see them, point them out. There's illegal at the pump. If you see them, point them out. Well, if this was not their plan, I don't know what else was. Because you see, America, things are starting to line up just the way the plan was already orchestrated. We're just seeing it come to fruition today. We're seeing it come to light right now. A massive import of illegals has flooded the country. We're seeing it at the border, Texas. We're seeing it in New York City, Chicago. We're seeing it all over black and brown communities, as they like to say. This is where they're setting them up for camp. But there's also other places. It's not just in the cities and black and brown communities. This, my friends, is taking place in middle America, rural America. It's taking place all over the country. And so Tyson, Tyson Foods, is definitely a partner with the party, big companies, with the government to bring in more and more and more cheap labor. That's what these people are. They are cheap labor. In this scenario, the government wins, or we should say the Democrat party wins because these are votes. Big companies win because they get cheap labor and they keep their bottom line. Out of these two, winners. But who do you think is the loser? Is it we, the people? Are we the people the loser when it comes to this? Democrats win more votes. Big company gets free, cheap labor. And the American people, they're out. You know, I find it so interesting. Joe Biden is always coming out here to say how they're, they're for the little guy, how they're trying to make the uh, 1% pay their fair share in taxes. They're trying to make them pay their fair share in taxes because they are all for the little guy. They're, they're for we the people. Joe Biden and, and group, they're for we the people. As it always says, Actions do speak louder than words. Actions, Joe Biden, speaks louder than words. And the word that we, the people, are hearing right now is that you have brought the hammer to crush, to crush Americans. And this is what's happening, friends. We're going to get into it right now. It's in laying off 1,200 workers after closing its pork factory in Prairie, Iowa, only later to announce 52,000 jobs for migrants. The company's excuse, migrants are getting the jobs that Americans don't want. A human resources executive for the company telling Bloomberg the migrants have been, quote, very loyal. They've been uprooted. And what they want is stability. What they want is a sense of belonging. Let's bring in Fox and Friends Weekend co-host Pete Hegseth. Pete, good to see you. Yes. But again, lower wages, taking American jobs. This was the reason why Democrats were opposed to illegal immigration 10, 15, 25 years ago. But here it plays out. This costs Americans a lot. That's better. true. It was also the reason why uh, the Chamber of Commerce crowd of the Republican Party was so reluctant to Donald Trump 
back in 2015, 2016, dependent on importing cheap labor. He said, we're going to build that wall. We're going to stop this. I'm going to put Americans first. Wages will rise as a result. And now you've got an inversion of that with the Democrat Party saying, come on in. And then you've, we've heard glimpses of it, right, when Nancy Pelosi said, who else, who else is going to pick our crops, right? I mean, that's their mindset. And the businesses are happy to do it when there's no e-verifier, there's no consequences. And so they, yeah, cheaper labor for this business to produce a product. And it's not an easy job. You know, people that do those jobs, they're dirty, they're tough. But um, Americans should have the first shot and they should have a good shot at a good wage. And it, it's so dismissive. The, the language that they use that these, oh, Americans don't want these jobs. How did, uh, really? Americans had these jobs. Right. And they lost them. Correct. Exactly. And if you thought about paying, if Americans are doing the jobs, they're going to raise the wages for the right. jobs too. That's all good for everybody. Seen that, heard that, good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. There you actually have it. Americans being replaced, literally. Like, on this channel, I talk about this a lot. Oh, I talk about it a lot. But to see it fully coming to fruition, Eric Adams, the governor of New York City, um, Hochul, I just made a video about her. I actually haven't even posted it, and I had to get on this one. In her interview, she's pleading with the Biden administration to give them the work visas already, put them to work already. Her mayor, Eric Adams, we need the work visas. We need to put them to work. They need to work. And everybody's saying, put the illegals to work. Get the process going. Get the process going. We've got 10 million of them that just walked through the country. Give them, give them visas, give them, give it to them. Give them the work permits. So with that, we give them the work permits. That means they're going to be going to work. So where this work coming from? Oh, they just told us, right? They're going to fire Americans, mostly, and then they're going to put illegals in. That's where the jobs are coming from. Joe Biden keeps talking about how he's he's done great things with jobs. But I don't believe it's jobs for Americans because this is what they've been working towards for some time now. And it's finally coming to fruition. Between now and election day, do you think that these people could probably vote? Between now and November, do you think that these people could be processed like this and become voters in November? We're going to take another look. At